If you ask a business student what kind of work he's seeking, he'll most likely say finance or consulting. I myself got into one of France's top business schools with a different hope, to get one day into the film industry. So when the airport of Lyon, the city where I live, announced they were raising 6,000 euros for an original travel project, I immediately came up with a plan I had thought of for a long time, and which I chose to call the Marco Polo Adventure. I call it like this in reference to the famous Netflix TV series that partly takes place in Mongolia, and you'll soon understand why. The Marco Polo Adventure is a combination of two of my main centers of interest. The first one is filmmaking. With other students, I organized in May one of Lyon's major short film festivals, in the very city where the Lumière brothers created cinema. It was acknowledged by the Festival de Cannes, which invited us to spend a few days over. When most students from my business school chose to intern in banks or marketing, I did my very first internship working for Sydney Film School in Australia, and spending six months around my new friend's sets really helped me understand the basis of making a good film. I then bought myself a camera and began to develop a passion for filming and photography. In my free time, I try to teach myself as much as I can, mainly by getting tips on the internet, thanks to famous YouTube channels like Peter McKinnon's. I definitely recommend you check it out. There's a lot to learn from a guy like him. So maybe we should redo that? What's up guys, Peter McKinnon here and today we're talking about B-roll, what it is and how you can use it to make your footage and your videos better. My second center of interest, as you might have guessed, would be traveling and also a passion for foreign cultures. Even though I received a French education, my mom is from Laos and every time I met my family in Asia, I couldn't help but notice how Buddhism influenced their daily life. So here's the project I would like to achieve with Lyon Airport's budget. Land in Mongolia, book a guide on a horse, spend two weeks traveling from one Buddhist monastery to another, and make a short film about this adventure into the monks' lives. Why Mongolia, you might ask? Well, Mongolia has this incredible scenery I always wanted to discover and to shoot. Its history with Buddhism is quite interesting, and it's amazing to see how many monasteries have survived the 1937 Russian repression. Booking a guide, a horse, and a few nights with the monks is actually possible to do if you have the budget. And let's be honest, exploring Buddhist monasteries riding a horse has something more of a film story itself. All I need from you guys is to help me get as many views as I can on this video so I can make it to the final jury. So if you like my project, feel free to hit that like button, or even to share it with your friends. By doing so, you'll allow me not only to shoot a film, but also to live one.